What's going on Lego Maniacs? It's Ty, the Lego guy here, and welcome to Building Tortuga Bay. This one has taken a while to get out, so I'm finally happy to start working on it again. Just a big reno went on with the, uh, with the suite, so that's all done. Anyways, let me show you guys what we're working with. To give you guys sort of an idea of what we're planning to do in this episode. So we have the blue coats and red coats facing off the cannon battle. Now, a lot of these different areas need more detail. So I want to try and give a little bit more detail to the landscape right here where the two battles are fighting. As well as the uh, ships. I have to figure out some sort of... Uh, it's going to be like this but just a bit better with the water pieces. And I want to actually put those around the ships as well just to give it a little bit more realistic feel work on that side of the uh, rock mass as well and um, I want to finish off this fort hopefully in this episode and maybe start a little fishing market like I kind of want to have one area that's kind of peaceful in the entire mock along with King Kahuka's Island that will be a little bit more peaceful as well so I'm hoping to kind of build that up kind of have like a little dock there with the uh, ships and fishermen and then we also got a couple bricklink orders so a number of white pieces, white bricks, and then believe it or not, there's nearly a thousand of these basically watercolor studs. So, you know, the baby blue along with the uh, clear translucent pieces. Anyways, this should get interesting. We also have Baby Yoda and King Kahuka making sure I don't screw up on the mock. Uh, but anyways, enough talk. Let's get right into it. So I started working on the dock, but before we continue, I just want to give a big shout out to uh, Dark Jedi Films and Music for making the intro. Definitely check them out if you're looking for other awesome music, whether it be like Pirates or Star Wars. Uh, his link to his channel will be in the description. But as you guys can see, we're building up the dock. Now it's small, but I do think we could, if, if it's properly made, we can actually fit a lot on this. So I'm thinking maybe little merchant stands. Maybe have some pirates and soldiers like trading. I might make it a bit bigger. And okay, we're not going to touch the island. Probably not in this episode, but I want your guys feedback on this. What do you guys think about raised base plates? I don't know. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I mean, this one's going to be definitely more green. It's going to be a little sandy, but it's definitely going to be more like lush. I'm that's at least what I'm going to try to go for. So let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, we're going to continue to build up the dock, get this fort built, but yeah, that's the progress so far. This was all a beige or tan base plate, but I put the blue pieces over. I have to still figure out how big King Kahuka's Island's going to be. Like, I'm thinking it's going to cover all this. Uh, I just don't want it too close to the dock so it looks weird, but we'll see. I got to do a little bit of experimenting, uh, but yeah, that's the progress so far. Okay, well, I think we finally... Have the fort done. I think that this looks pretty good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. But it really, I don't know. It's just a simple little archway, a tower. But I think it really brings the fort all together along with the rest of the mock. And what I really like about this is you can very easily still access the interior. So these parts still come apart. I still have to actually fill the inside of this. Let me know what you guys think. What I should maybe put there, it's just a little tricky. Maybe I could have a couple soldiers, I don't know, gambling or something. That's the first thing that comes to mind. And the other side as well also comes apart. Kind of trying to make this sort of like a modular. And there it is. So anyways, that's the fort. I think it's pretty well in its final form. And uh, I think it works. I really tried to make this like uh, Tortuga or the El Dorado Fortress and uh, yeah oh I also added a little ladder up here so a minifig would actually still have to sort of uh, he can still reach it right but I just wanted to give a idea how they get to the next level I was thinking a stairway or something but yeah that's the progress so far I'm gonna start working on the dock a little bit more and then get to this other side it's just fine details but yeah, I'm really happy with the way this fort looks, its end result. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's kind of what I pictured and now it's finally in its Lego form, so it's kind of cool. And after hours of monotonous work, or a couple I should say, 
we finally have a lot of these little details done. So what I'm trying to represent right here is you know when a wave is crashing against the beach? That's kind of what this is supposed to be. So you have the clear pieces as kind of like the waves and the light blue pieces kind of as deeper water and it's kind of crashing against the sand. I think that looks quite good. We also added a little crab. Love this little dude. And then moving on to the main battle, I added a bunch of little, literally just tan plates and I think it looks good. It just makes it look a little bit more natural, adds a little bit more diversity to the terrain. That was what, actually one of your guys' suggestions and I think it worked quite good. We also updated this side of the water to try and make it look a little bit more like this side. So, you know, waves crashing against the surface. Over here, we just added light blue pieces because I want this rock to kind of appear like it's jutting out and it's deeper water surrounding it. We added some rock work as well, just to make it look a little bit more natural. But all in all, I think it's coming together. Let me know what you guys think about what we're kind of doing here. The other thing too, is you know when two sailing ships would literally attack each other and you'd have pirates swinging onto you know whoever they're fighting, Imperial swinging to the other ship and they're fighting on both ships as the two ships are shooting each other with cannons. I'm kind of hoping to do that with these long basically rope pieces and I think it will look quite good just make this battle a little bit more natural got to add some blue pieces around the ships just to make it look like they're, you know they're sailing through the water and what we're gonna do now actually is just work a little bit more on the market well we finally got the market pretty well done as you guys can see it's simple but I think it's effective there's a little blue coat in the corner little sales lady She's selling some fish. This guy got some gold to buy it. Some corn, a turkey leg, some apples. Then we got a little price sign here. I actually got this from the uh, medieval market back in 2011. Really helpful little sign. But as you can see, there's another sales lady. She's uh, selling a turkey, some apples, a carrot, some more fish and flowers. Then we have some pirates. They're talking. Maybe they're conspiring to try and break their uh, captain out of jail and then a little rat. I think the market looks quite good. If you guys have any ideas to improve it, let me know. I just want to keep it kind of small though, just because I don't want it to get too big and overrun King Kahuka's Island. Then over here, okay, this is a little tricky to kind of show you guys what we kind of done, but we added some basically pirates with ropes, and then also there's an Imperial soldier, as you can see, a red coat. He's made his way onto the pirate ship and he's gonna attack them. And then we have two pirates with ropes that have made their way onto the flagship. What I really like about this is these two guys have kind of like drawn swords. I may need to add more detail, more fighting, but I think that it kind of gets the idea across. I need to add blue studs along the boat still. However, this is all the blue studs we have now. Blue and clear studs. I need these again for King Kahuka's, King Kahuka's Island. I do hope to add it to that area, but I don't really think it's as necessary. What we're gonna do now though, is you know, okay, this was one of your guys' suggestions to have like a sea monster attacking a pirate ship. I have an idea, we may go with it, we may not, but let's try it out and uh, we'll see what you guys think. This is what I pretty well came up with. So as you guys can see, we got a little pirate ship here. And as you can see, they got booty. And I got a sea serpent that kind of popped out of the water. I was thinking the Kraken. I'm not sure which one I should go with, but I thought this serpent looked actually pretty awesome. And these guys are trying to escape. And we have Kinkahuka's loyal minions after them, because I'm thinking that this treasure was Kinkahuka's. And maybe that's going to be the idea behind his island. Like it's going to be this kind of like a, a souped up enchanted island. And there's pirates on it. They've stolen the treasure. King Kahuka's after them. These guys are trying to escape, but then the sea serpent pops out of the water, and uh, his people are after them. So I don't know. I think that that I think that works. I was thinking before of getting maybe a medium-sized pirate ship and having the sea serpent or a crack and attack it. Let me know which idea you like better, but this is probably going to make the thumbnail pick. I just think that actually looks pretty good. Obviously, there needs to be more detail. Like, I got to put blue studs around the boats. I have to uh, 
make the sea serpent look like he's coming out of the water more but that's kind of that's where we're at but yeah i'm thinking that this is pretty well going to do up this episode next episode we're going to start working on king kahuka's island really excited about that i've also added a little bit more water to the front of this there used to be another tan piece now we actually just substituted for this blue piece and i think that's going to work a lot better just have water around it but i kind of have to figure out the layout again i don't want this to encroach let me move <laughs> baby yoda i don't want this to encroach too much on his island so i'm thinking the island's going to start here that's still a bit close but at least gives it a little bit of space and then it's going to make its way to the corner anyways yeah that's where we're at again guys you got any suggestions let me know a lot of these suggestions have been making their way into the mock like the sea monster I actually have to get bayonets as well. I know a lot of you guys uh, have been pushing me to get that, so I have to figure out some where to buy that. I'm gonna check online. But anyways, it's exciting, it's coming. Little by little, we're getting her done. Uh, anyways, that's all I got for you today, but if you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing and click that bell so you're notified for any future Building Tortuga Bay episodes. We got, I think, about two two of them left, and uh, yeah, it's coming along. Pretty soon we're going to be done. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for you again. But thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.